Hello everyone, it's Aster, bringing you, I suppose, it's both an unboxing video and a haul video. It's a little different, so this is, or these are from Rainbow Holic. Uh, they're a somewhat well-known bullet journal YouTuber, Instagrammer. Um, and she has a Patreon where you can support her and get rewards. She does multiple tiers that you can do to support her. And there's um, did both digital and physical rewards. Now, I subscribed, I think, in August of last year, <clears throat> and because uh, she lives in Japan, she was using Japan Post to send all the stuff out. Well, Japan Post just happened to, uh, around that time, say, we're not going to send to America anymore because of COVID. They were sending to uh, Canada, which is what I did to work around and got the August stuff sent there. Um, I know somebody in Canada. Unfortunately, Japan Post decided then, one month after that, to say, we're not sending to Canada anymore. So everything's just been sitting in Japan waiting. And Japan Post is now putting the final nail in their coffin, I think, and increasing their fees and prices so that they're about equal to FedEx. Now what FedEx is doing is they don't have like any bans on where they ship as far as I know, but they're more expensive. So the only way to get your stuff now is to go to through FedEx. And because of that, she had to increase the price. So my original price, because I got the Rainbow Plus Kawaii character tier, was $60. It increased $10. So I'm now paying $70 to get uh, these things sent every month. I'm not happy about the increase. Uh, <clears throat> She's covering $5 of it, so it technically was $15 of an increase, but she's covering $5. I kind of feel like she should split the difference, so we both equally have to pay for shipping, but she has to pay for shipping for, I assume, hundreds of subscribers? I'm not sure. So... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling that one. I don't know. I think it should be equal, but that's just me. Anyways, um, so I'm going to go through the October ones because I don't actually have the, um, August or September ones. I'm not sure where the September one is. Uh, maybe she wasn't able to send it because you can send up to 500 grams and she sent several months. She sent uh, October, November, December, and January of 2021. Uh, so she might not have been able to send the, the September one. And I know the August one is still in Canada because my friend hasn't been able to get to the post office. Anyways... Uh, let's get into it. So, I'll start with, I think, the normal one, the rainbow tier one. Um, the Kawaii character one is usually themed around a certain character or theme. And the rainbow one is usually just a theme. It's not really related to any sort of character. So I think October's theme was uh, Japanese New Year. 
and I think the Kawaii character was, I can't remember what the Kawaii character was called, but it's pretty cute. So, we have the little October 2020, and then um, she always puts five washi tape samples on. So we have a um, Happy New Year one, we have a Sweet Milk Biscuit, which I actually have that, that's from Daiso. Uh, we have a, a Lucky Cat one and Lucky Doll things, we have a Cow one, and I think I also have this one from Daiso, it's Hanafudu cards, I believe? I'm not sure. I'm wondering if all, all of these are dice so because I kind of recognize the top one too, so that's unfortunate that it wasn't new um, items <laughs> or new uh, washi tapes to me. But if somebody doesn't have dice so around them, I could see that being useful. So first up we have a special 2021 Year of the Ox or Cow uh, Kit Kat. There's three Kit Kats in here. They're very cute. And if you fold this up, there's a special message underneath. I've seen somebody open one of these. I don't really want to open it. <laughs> well, I, I'm going to open it to get the Kit Kats out, but I don't want to ruin it. Unfortunately, this one's squished. I was noticing with a lot of the rewards, they're a little bent out of shape or folded or crushed. So that's a little unfortunate. Uh, next, we have a lemon candy of some sort. And we have some little foil uh, stickers that are cow themed. I don't get why it's Year of the Ox, but it's a lot of cow stuff. I'm, I'm not sure why. Uh, we have some various memo sheet uh, pages. Pink one with dango and green tea. Panda drinking green tea, two pandas, a geisha, or uh, what's the what's the younger one called? Um, they're in training. They're not full geisha. I can't remember what they're called. Usually, those are the ones that are um, full painted face. I believe older women, uh, also known as geisha, don't do the full painted face unless it's for a dance or festival or some very special occasion. Day-to-day -day work, I don't believe they put on a full face. Mako. Makio? Mako? I think that's the uh, younger in training geisha. Is Mako or Mako? Another one, doing a tea ceremony. I like Daisha, so <laughs> I kind of know a little bit about them. Not much, though. I'm not an expert or anything. I, I'm just a huge fan. Uh, then we got a like New Year's themed wreath memo sheet. A uh, 2021 postcard thingy. I'm not sure what this is. Um, and that's what I mean by bent and stuff. So there are a few things that are bent and thing and such, which is unfortunate. Uh, we have another postcard type thing with a mermaid character of some sort. A memo sheet, bigger one, cow themed. Some stickers with more um, memo sticky sheets stuck on. 
And these have like gold foil on them too. So there's a Lucky Cat one and a Darmon? I, I can't remember what the name of that little guy is. Then we got two sheets of uh, origami paper. Really pretty designs on it. And then we have a Christmas Japan Post postcard. There's also a few pieces of paper in here. So this looks like um, a journal spread type thing that you could put in your journal. Uh, this is a bunch of stamps from Japan. And we have a um, one of the artists, uh, Ali prints. Not familiar with them. Um, so that's it in this one. Now because I get two uh, packages, because I have a combined tier, the um, I noticed that they put some of the stuff that would normally be in this one, just the normal rainbow one, into my kawaii character one. So uh, that's not it for the rainbow portion. Just let me know. <laughs> um, so this one's the kawaii character one. Uh, again, we have the five uh, washi tape. Got a toffee themed one, strawberry, a really cute melon soda one, cocktails, and more like treat themed ones. I just dropped something. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to very carefully pick this up. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Alright, uh we have this don't know how to pronounce this, um, but she seems to really like this brand and she teams up with this brand of tea. Carol Capic? I'm not sure. But a very cute design. I'm not a huge tea drinker, but I think I will try these ones. I'm not sure what flavor this is. Maybe it's mint and lemon? Another Carol Capic thing, a little postcard, holiday green card thing. Three washi tapes. We have a rainbow holic one. This one was a bonus because she got so many Patreon supporters, so it's uh, her own design. It's a bunch of pastel clouds. This one is a uh, comp compilation. It's a team up between uh, Rainbow Holic and Chi Chi Little. It's 
uh, cats and pigs. If it says good luck. Lots of little trinkets around them. And we got um, some sodas and a, a few little characters. I think this is the character theme or something. I like this one. I like the sodas. And we have another little candy. It's uh, Jack. I like the packaging. That's like Jack of Spades, I think. And we have some uh, cafe themed memo sheets. These have a texture like a not homemade or handmade paper, but it kind of feels like that. So we have a rabbit with some spaghetti, rabbit and a panda with a melon soda, panda with a cup of coffee, and a little maid. I think she's the character. A little maid with a pudding. So I think that's the character. And we have some bigger, like, memo sheet things. Melon soda, again with those two characters. Some puddings. I really like this one in the melon soda one. Various cafe items. More various cafe items. Particularly coffee. <laughs> We have a sticker sheet that has those characters on it. Another one of these, uh, I don't know, postcard things. Two more sheets of uh, origami paper. And these ones are double sided, the other ones weren't. And then I th believe this is the. Uh, Ali Price or Prince or whomever's artist this month was. So Happy New Year, Happy Moo Year type thing. Type designs. And then that is it for uh, October 2020 uh, Rainbow Holic Patreon Rewards, uh, the $60 kawaii character in rainbow tier. Um, I always see her posts about these Patreon rewards and stuff, and I like her stuff. I don't like how little she puts in her um, physical rewards. I know she um, has digital rewards too, so that can kind of come into it, but physical, actual physical things, I think it's kind of lacking. And this is $60 worth of stuff. I don't feel like this is $60 worth, honestly. I know she has to make bunnies, sort of, but I mean, I can get a pack of this sort of stuff, a pack, like several, several things of these for $1.50 at Daiso. So that's like nothing. Okay, these can go for a little bit more. Uh, the treats, probably 100 yen, uh, so less than a dollar. A uh, pack of tea, she probably gets big bulk packs. I just, I don't see where my money's going, I guess I should say. I mean, I like the, I like the rewards, I just don't like how much she charges for them because I don't see the worth. Um, and <laughs> I think people have 
question her on it because she has an FAQ on her Patreon specifically talking about the worth of certain things and I can see why people have questioned her on it because I question her on it because I really don't see the worth. I, I'm like... <laughs> and it costs more now. It's 70 instead of 60. I... She has higher priced tiers like a hundred dollars. I think there's a 200 or 300 dollar one. That one you actually get well, I wouldn't say all of your money is worth, but you get a lot of stuff for your money. Because she goes to like those uh, dollar yen stores like Daiso and she just grabs a bunch of stuff. Or she, if you're wanting like Sailor Moon specific things, she'll do that. She'll go and get specific Sailor Moon items. But I don't have like 200 or 300 dollars to spend every month. This is a monthly subscription thing too. I don't have that much kind of money to just burn. Um, I got the $60 or $70 now tier because it combines two things and I thought, oh, you know, I'm getting a lot of stuff for my money. Now that I actually have these things in front of me, I'm not getting my money's worth. Um, so I... I hate to say that I don't want to continue to support her, but I'm really torn, honestly, because it's, it sits, well, $70 a month. I could use that $70 to go to Daiso and buy two times the amount of stuff here, so I can't say it's worth it to be a Patreon supporter of her. Maybe if you just went with like the one dollar support to get the digital files and stuff. Yeah, okay. Or the five dollar one because I think you can get a postcard then too. But any more than that I would say you're not getting your money's worth. So it's unfortunate. Because I, I do like to support her but yeah. So, um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I didn't really kind of bring it down, but I feel like telling you guys the truth about these things that I get so you know not to spend your money on something or do spend your money on something. Um, so yeah, sorry for the truth. Uh, but thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.